Go Pro Yanu! Hello everyone! This is first video after I came home from isolation and I have recovered very well, as you see. So today I am making a new video and I would like to share with you some good tips for improving your Go skill. I have been playing Go for 23 years and also I studied Go for life. So based on these data, I would like to share with you some tips for improving your Go skill effectively. The first tip is playing games. Everybody plays their games, but some people improve only 10% and others improve 90% from the same playing. Why? Because it depends on how you play and who you play with. If you play with someone who is much lower level, like 5 stones handicaps, 9 stones handicaps, and you play every day 20 games with him or her, and are you gonna improve? No, 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 no. But you can improve your trick moves. Yes, I'm sure. <laughs> So if you want to improve your goal, you got to play with people who are similar level with you or little higher level than you. And one more thing is, if you play very fast every game like AI within 5 seconds, duck, 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 duck. Can you improve? I don't think so. Yeah, it can be fun because you can play like 50 games a day. You are you are killing all the big groups and you die and yeah, like you feel so dynamic. But for your goal skill, it doesn't really help a lot. Reading is fundamental in goal. If you don't think deep and play fast, there is one good thing for that. It is good for your instinct. Yeah, your instinct can be improved but it is shallow just surface so i always recommend my students to play like this if you have five games to play a week for example play serious game at least three games or four games and if you really want to play blitz and play one blitz game if you want to play five serious games then that would be fine of course here here, serious game means uh, at least 15 minutes to 30 minutes for each player time limit plus uh, Biomi also. Like 30 seconds, 3 times Biomi, something like that. So I recommend playing plan ratio just like that. Let's go for second tip. Second tip is review. Review, review. This is super, super important. You know, Lee Chao Naidan and Lee Sedol Naidan professional players also emphasize a lot on this review. Even for them, after finish their games, they review with other players for a few hours. Have you been to Kiwon? I guess not so many people have been to because Kiwon, there are so many Kiwons in Korea. If you go Kiwon in Korea, you will meet lots of uh, players who have been playing Go for like 40 years, 50 years, very long because they are very old and they started Go since they're young. But mystery thing is, before 50 years and now, their level has been the same or deproved. Why? Yeah, because it's quite simple. A player learned something and reached, for example, like 7Q. And he has been playing the 7Q moves and patterns for 50 years. And of course, cannot go higher than 7Q. Because don't know what is wrong, what is right. And have been doing the same thing. Then how to improve? And when you get old, your reading speed and accurate rate of course is getting worse i hope not for me but i think it will be uh yeah it's quite natural to be like that that's why review is important i strongly recommend review from stronger players than you it has to be 
um, quite much stronger than you is like you are 5Q and you get review from 4Q, 3Q, it doesn't really help. For reviewing, I recommend you to get from some amateur players or professional players like much stronger than you, then it would be really helpful. And when you get review, it's much better to get review a serious game that you played, not Blitz game. Because Blitz game, usually you play without so much deep thinking. So in Blitz game, cannot find your weaknesses or strengths so much. So I recommend you play serious game and you get review this game from your teacher or stronger players. And if you get review, I believe uh, 60 or 70% you can get from that review. And if you wanna reach 100% to get, I recommend you to review one more time that you reviewed. So for example, like to today morning, you, you got reviewed from your teacher and after you go home, like at night, you you see that again because otherwise you're gonna forget. So at least tonight or tomorrow, also fine. Then you will get like 90% to 100%. Yeah, you can get it. So you will get as much as you do. And here, getting review from AI, is it helpful for you? Yes and no. Yeah, because Mm, it depends on your levels. The more higher level, the more helpful. For beginners or lower level players, it doesn't really help and it even makes you confused because you don't have strong fundamentals and you cannot interpret and you cannot understand AI's moves and you want to follow AI's moves, that can be very dangerous. So I recommend you learn from human teachers with explanations first and you build strong fundamentals and basics and then after that uh, use AI and get help, that would be enough for you. And for middle level players, it can be helpful but it can be only just for reference. If you are 4 down or 5 down online and it can be quite helpful because your understanding level is much higher. Yeah, but, f but still for that level, I recommend to learn from AI and also human teacher if you can. Let's go for third tip, pattern. Juseki, how to study pattern. Just memorize, I will tell you how. First, you learned, understood and memorize. And that pattern already becomes yours? I don't think so. I don't think so. Because you are gonna forget it very easily. For me, I'm not native English speakers. So if I learned one word, English word, in order to make my word, I have to speak out at least like 50 times and then it becomes mine. So. I can speak naturally that word. So it's something like that. So pattern, when you learn and you gotta use it in your actual games, I think at least uh, 20 times. And even after you use 20 times, you may not remember then how many times you have to do until it becomes yours. You gotta do that. <laughs> yeah, no choice. It's like that. And as you know, um, life doesn't work out the way we think it would. Playing pattern is the same. I will show you with Go board. So for example, you studied this joseki, attaching move. And you studied this variation. Yeah, tak tak ta. Okay, this is joseki, so I am gonna use it. So when you play your actual game, you play that move. And black is supposed to play here, but your opponent didn't know Joseki, so played here. And you are and you are so penny, oh I didn't know that move. He played such a strange move. And how to do? 
First thing that you gotta do is calm down. The second thing you gotta do is you gotta forget about this joseki that you wanted to play because when black plays here, it's gonna be totally different variation. So you gotta play, you gotta try to find the best move in this situation and yeah, you will have some result after that and you better check with that result uh, and ask your teacher how is this result and how should I play or is this okay and then you will learn one by one about these uh, variations so about this move there is not only that move or the other options for black to play so you can study one by one and it's the most effective way to experience through your actual games, I am sure. And one more thing is, you gotta study pattern that is your level. For example, you have been learning Go for a month and you saw a joseki in a book like that. Okay, so this is a basic joseki, but book was teaching you this avalanche. Hell joseki. <laughs> And then, is it gonna be helpful for you to learn this kind of joseki? No, 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 no. It makes you have headache and it makes you quit, go. So please don't ever, ever learn this joseki. You don't have to. You don't need to do that. You gotta learn joseki step by step. Step by step. So for example, for three, four point attaching move, and then then you play you learn this kind of joseki and what else attaching or pincer yeah so one by one you can learn joseki and it's quite fun process isn't it i think so <laughs> all right let's go for fourth tip life and death sumego some people really like it and some people don't personally i really like that so I allocated my so much time on uh, life and death. Life and death is one of the basic thing in Go because every moves you need to read. Basically, you need reading. And in order to train your reading, you're gonna do solving life and death. Life and death is essential. Then how to study. First thing that you gotta do is find problems that suitable level for you. So how to check with that? So if you have one life and death book and you gotta check, then you gotta try to solve some problems. And if you cannot solve within five to 10 minutes most of the problems, then it's not good level for you. But if you solve within that time, most of the problems and it is suitable level for you and it cannot be too easy as well if it is suitable level and you can solve this like twice three times that would be fine for example there is one life and death question and you solve this question for one day you spend 10 hours and finally you found the answer yeah are you very happy Yes, you can be very happy, but I think it's waste of your time. I think for professional players, it makes sense, but for amateur normal players, uh, it is definitely not effective way to study life and death. So I recommend you to solve one question, maximum 10 minutes. And if you cannot solve, you just try other questions and Tomorrow you try again, if you cannot solve, you can see the answer is fine because you already practice your reading through this uh, problem and you see the answer. That can be all a uh, helpful process for your reading. If you really want to find answer by yourself and tomorrow you try again. How about if someone really hates doing life and death, you don't have to do that. You want me to say that, but you have to. You need to, you need to do that. At least 
if you really don't like it at least like few questions a day or like a week you just allocate little time for that because because it's really helpful for your uh, goal skill so here is last tip maintaining interest in goal in order to do all tips i have been telling you maintaining interest is very important thing because if you don't have interest if you don't feel it's fun and you are not going to do that anything so everything becomes useless now how to maintain your interest when you play go and study if you feel too hard or too difficult too depressed and just please take a rest you don't have to do that like a professional player like for living i don't have nothing to eat so i gotta do that you don't have to do that so if you feel really hard you can just take a rest and have some time and then after they come back it's okay and i usually make a timetable for my students if you have uh, 10 hours a week for go um, five hours for playing game and review and three hours studying opening and some patterns and two hours for life and death something like this kind of ratio but if you really enjoy solving life and death and you can allocate your time like four hours a week and if you enjoy playing games and you can a little bit more allocate more time for playing so it depends on what you like you can allocate more time on what you like the most then that would be more fun for you and also it will be more health for your goal skill i believe today i share with you some tips for improving your goal skill and i hope it's helpful for you Thank you for watching this video and I am going to call my supporters Martin Horaskek, Matthew Cook, Oleg Mezhov, Ozdal Barkan, Kan 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 Kan, Her Eric Martin, Her Eric Martin, Nick Ronin Sum. Simon S. The Sam Sai Sai Simon Girose T O M Tom Trubitsin Stepan T Y Bowen Tyson Jensen Victor Makovicchuk Zacherie Dosteller Zindola Jajang 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 Thank you a lot for my supporters and everybody watching for my video. And I will see you next time. Bye bye. Annyeong.